Good morning. If you follow Highway 66, it would be easy to zip right on by the road signs for Pressman's home. It's a place that's been nearly lost to time. It's in a valley that's kind of off the beaten track. In 1993, my wife and I were out riding a motorcycle, saw the signs to Pressman's home. I've been through valleys all over the world, and I just felt a magic as I rode down the road. It's that same feeling that drew many to this quiet valley, but that was years ago. It was the early 1900s when the Pressman's Union stumbled across the land. We're looking for a place for a tuberculosis sanatorium to treat the Pressmans who had tuberculosis. It was believed ink had toxins that could make workers sick, and the idyllic spot had once housed a resort rumored to have healing waters. The idea exploded into a luxurious community complete with a tennis court, a swimming pool, and even their own electricity before the rest of the county had it. It was geared not only to train the pressmen, but also to provide a family type atmosphere for people to bring their families here also while they went to school or while they were in the sanatorium. But politics plagued the pressmen's home. They packed up moved in about 67. Uh, they decided to move the headquarters to the Washington, D.C. area to be closer to uh, areas of influence. And it's gone downhill since then. In the decades since, pieces of the property changed hands. Ideas for revival fell flat, and fires claimed a number of the buildings. Right now, it's, it's, it's a forgotten piece of history is what it is. What's left is scattered across 65 acres, a rundown chapel almost inaccessible, the once distinct welcoming arches, unrecognizable as nature takes its toll. Still standing, the trade school and administration building, both in various stages of decay. For many, it doesn't look promising. Tim Carwile says, look closer. You can still see the pride and professionalism and craftsmanship that went into building Pressman's home. In the early 2000s, his team with the Lakeview Utility District repurposed a heating and plumbing building into a state-of-the-art water filtration system. It's still solid, it's in good shape, and I anticipate it being around many years down the road. And that's been the goal of the Lakeview Utility District. All the employees down here, they're hardworking and they're dedicated to this community. They salvaged as much original wood and relics as they could. History is important. If you don't know where you've been, you'll have no idea how to get to where you need to go. One small step in saving a nearly forgotten piece of Hawkins County history. I drove down there today with the snow on the mountains. I said, I still feel the magic. I felt it again. It's a magical place. Right now, ownership at Pressman's is kind of spread out. Lakeview Utility owns the one building. A local singer-songwriter runs a music venue out of a renovated old dairy barn on the property. And then a California-based environmental group owns much of the rest. But there really is no definitive word on a plan for that. I'll send it back to you.